How often have you done something, had a really uneasy feeling about it, and yet it made total sense, and then everything blew up in your face, and you knew that you had that feeling that you shouldn't do what you were about to do? I think everybody has that experience. Can you imagine being able to have a direct line to your intuition, a really simple way to be able to access it when ever you need. That's exactly what I'm going to show you on this podcast. I'm Ravi Tangri, and this is the From Meh to Yeah podcast, the profile show. And today, I'm not going to interview anyone. I'm going to focus solely on this piece around intuition because it is that important. It takes some time to be able to access it. I'm going to be able to show you how you can access it, build your ability to access it, and build your trust in it. And uh, we need the time to be able to do that. We can't do it just in one of the life hack shows because that's only a few minutes at a time. So let, let's be clear, first of all, what we're talking about. There are a uh, few different things that are called intuition, and, and, I, and I really want to delineate what intuition is. For a lot of people who, have, who are very well experienced, um, they have an intuitive feel of what's the right thing to do. They have a mastery of it. They just know, okay? Malcolm Gladwell talked about this, about having that 10,000 hours of experience that really lets you refine and understand what you what you want and to be able to um and and to be able to have that innate knowledge you you don't have to think it through it just you know that feeling that is not what i'm talking about that is something that is built through repetition and you build that 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 capacity that expertise that's something that that can be explained through through that experience what I'm talking about is this awareness or this getting information that you should not be able to get from any rational point of view. Uh, it's, it's not something that, that you may know. It's not something that may be known until later on. Okay, So a lot of those times when you make decisions that are logical, rational, that make absolute sense and everything goes wrong, how is it that you had a feeling that it was the wrong thing to do? That's the sort of intuition that I'm talking about, or knowing what the right thing to do is in the midst of all that. So now there's a lot of people who poo-poo that stuff, okay? A lot of people who are scientists or, um, or medical professionals and so on. But I, I'm going to make a pretty strong statement here when they do that they are not speaking as scientists or as doctors they are speaking as human beings who are terrified because their left brain rational fitted in a box way of understanding reality is being threatened uh, i don't mean that to be insulting it is just a fact because we react when 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 what we perceive to be reality is threatened we will react irrationally to defend it Okay, um, the thing is, the, 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 the rationalization that's used in that case is that you know, everything has to be explained. You need to be able to explain everything logically, rationally, and you can't necessarily show how this intuition happens. And that's absolutely wrong, and that's not the way a lot of science works. And I, I want to explain to you. For example, everyone knows gravity works, right? So if I was to pick up an object, if I was to pick up this memory card and drop it, we know that it would fall, okay? Uh, and that's observable, so on and so forth. But where is the gravity? Where are those forces? How do you measure it? Well, if, if you go into quantum field theory, what you find is, you know, with, with electricity, there's this fundamental particle called the electron, okay? With uh, gravity, it's been shown that there is a fundamental particle for that called the graviton. And if you do the mathematics, it should be a si about the size of a school bus. Now, I don't know about you, but when I see this or something that I drop, I don't see school bus sized particles moving back and forth between the earth and this. And yet, that's what the theory shows. So we can't, we've not yet seen a graviton. We've not yet been able to show that, that it exists. And yet, that's the way, that's what needs to happen for this proven effect. What what's, was one of the 
proven phenomena way back Isaac Newton and the apple depends on something that we can't see and that we have not seen. And yet we trust that it exists, okay? Now, when you get into the field of quantum physics, which I used to work in, there's so much that is unknown because the very essence of it is uncertainty. You cannot know everything. And the other fact is that conscious intention and conscious focus actually changes the result. The fact that you're observing an experiment changes it. And that's something that a lot of left brain rational people can't think about, can't understand. Um, now, I, I've actually got experience with this in that I've, I, when I was working in physics, um, I actually taught a lot of people who are pre-med or going into the, some of these uh, left brain sciences, some basic physics, and, and they could not, I mean, it's, it, it's, they could not get their uh, heads around fundamental, very simple calculus. They, they could not understand it. So if they can't understand two or three dimensional calculus, once you get into infinite dimensional, fractional dimensional uh, calculus, which is what how we understand the universe, their, their minds just can't go there. So they, it's, again, this is not meant to be insulting. It is just different people have different ways of thinking. And some like certain boxes, and they find whatever rationalization they can to do that. To me, science, what science is, is if you can produce a reproducible effect with the same phenomena over and over. That's like dropping the apple. You don't need to see the gravitons, the school bus sized particles, but you can reproduce it. Same thing with intuition. You can test it and refine it. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you how you, what you can do to be able to develop that trust for yourself. Now, those of you who are watching the highlight uh, of, of this podcast on Facebook or YouTube, you can get the full uh, podcast, including me taking you through all those steps about it, just by going to ravitangri.com and scrolling down uh, just a little bit, and you'll see where you can subscribe on iTunes and Google Play and Stitcher and everywhere else, or at the link at the end of this uh, the, the, the highlight video.